Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is the site for this showdown between the San Diego Chargers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's always tough to win on the road, and I don't know if that'll be the case here today, but minutes to kick off. How much do you hear all that yelling at you from the stands? Could you hear it? Yeah, you do hear it. You know what, though? You love it because they're yelling at you. They don't like you. But you know why they don't like you? Because they know you're good, and you have a chance to beat their team. So this factor, the factor of being on the road, I don't think it'll hurt them at all today. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. down bells taking the handoff going to lose yards here when you make play calls like that you're not going to win many football games that was a terrible call here on first down A receiver in the slot. Second down and 13. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Following the incompletion. Going across the middle. Brown's going to pull in the bullet pass. Shakes off the hit. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Antonio Brown with the catch. Tackled at the 18. Well, this has been confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up their sleeve that can get them in the end zone. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Looking to the right side and throwing. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Second down following that incompletion. They give it to the running back. A tackle behind the line. When it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Play number six coming up on this drive. Now it's a third and 13. Easy catch there. No one near him. When you have a quarterback that can throw the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. Let's go. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Challenging the defenders to the right side, that brings the play to an end. If I'm on the defense, and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course it'll be a touchdown. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. 
about to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and goal from the one. And the throw is incomplete. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You fail on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. And goal. Drives ahead. This is really demoralizing. When you drive the football down the field, you're in a fourth down situation. You want to keep this drive going. Terrible play call by the coach. Stops the drive. They come to the line, and it's first down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. The big thing about running the curl route, once you see the football, you have to keep moving and attack it. Don't stand there and wait for the football to get to you. And speaking of McCoy, when we would meet with him in his days as the offensive coordinator at Denver, it was easy to see that you were just sitting right across from a future NFL head coach. Yeah, I think that's true. I think what's really been impressive and probably one of the biggest reasons why he was selected to be the head coach of the San Diego Chargers, that he ran two distinct different offenses, one with Tim Tebow, one with Peyton Manning. So that shows you he can teach it round or he can teach it flat. That's a great quality to have as a head football coach. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Rivers is dropping back to throw once again. He's in the clear, the 20. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. This play set up by the long gainer. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Rivers connects with Antonio Gates. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. you got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second down coming up. Matthew. In on the stop. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Quarters formation here for the defense. He runs it across. Touchdown. Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. And then third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out of there and they get the touchdown running the football. The Steelers set to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20.
Now on first down. That ball has been picked off. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. First down here. Throws to the right. He's wide open for the grab. Touchdown, Chargers. you got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Bell's going to secure the handoff to the right. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Going to get set in the slot for this snap. The give, left side, and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. That'll do it for the first quarter here in Pittsburgh. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. After that last run, it sets up third and six. He makes the catch. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first, and now we've got a fourth down situation. A timeout charge to the offense. defensive backs out on the field for this one looking for an open receiver on the right he's got the grab and he's got the first and he'll step out of bounds I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition but a good job that time getting it that reception gave them the first down Falls incomplete. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver's not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. There's Mike Tomlin on the sideline for the Steelers. He was hired at the age of 34 and really had immediate success there in Pittsburgh. Mike Tomlin's one of those guys, Jim, when you talk to him, he can put you at ease. He just uh, has a way of talking to you that makes you feel comfortable. But make no doubt about it, on the football field and on the practice field, he is a tough guy, and that's the way his team plays. 
Here's the first snap after the big play. He'll fire it out to the left. Incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Roethlisberger is back in shotgun formation. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They all pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third and ten, looking to the right side and throwing. Airtight coverage, incomplete. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Bells lined up directly behind the quarterback here. He'll throw it over the middle. Touchdown. This game is tight. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Inside of the uprights. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. <laughs> Philip Rivers has it under center. First and 10. Handoff. Tackles made. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. Second down now. Working that left side. That catch gives them a first down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. Back to the air here on first down. Looking across the middle. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. McLean's handed the football. A running back must always know the situations. Third and short, don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. 
Floyd's in the slot. First and ten. Go run it. Off the toss. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Hey, play number six coming up on this drive. First down and ten. Into the open flat. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. The Steelers defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 10. Play action. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Touchdown. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love them, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue, and they got another touchdown to increase that lead. The Chargers getting set for the point after. And the point after is good. Nick Novak ready for the kickoff. Antonio Brown getting a chance to return this one. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. and 10. Interception. Muscles through the defender. Nice tackle. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. From the gun, Phillip Rivers ready for the snap. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. The Chargers now move the chains. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. up now as a slot receiver set up screen caught the tackle was made when you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs not only are they move it in scoring position but they're giving their defense a lot of rest down here after the completion and Matthews has got it on the handoff hard to score a touchdown sometimes to get in the red zone in the NFL why because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field the offense runs it they are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Hey, 
after the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. It'll be third down. Throws the pass. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Offside defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. The Steelers set to return the kick. He'll start his return. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. They face first down. Throws to the right. Makes the grab. He's brought down. The Steelers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Roethlisberger going down the field. The pass is intercepted. That does it for the first half. Steelers trailing this one. We'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one where the Chargers lead by 21. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. And they get to him at the 45. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Matthews lined up in the backfield.
First and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Right on the money. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down, following the long play. Throwing now to his left. Intercepted. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Roethlisberger able to find Emmanuel Sanders. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose, incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. And intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. Nice job of the defense. hold the running back to a short game. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and seven, and the carry to Ryan Matthews. They bring him to the turf. Third down, following the run. McLean's taking the handoff. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are... Second down after the incompletion. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Phillip Rivers unloading the long pass. What a catch. Good job getting the first down by the offense. So look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for.
Play number six coming up on this drive. So, first and goal to go. Quarterback flips it to the running back. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The Chargers with an extra point try on the way. It's good. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. Antonio Brown getting a chance to return this one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Brown's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Brown's going to secure the handoff. They go to the right side. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That pass is well defended. Split backfield here. Second and ten. Going across the middle. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Offense lines up here. Here it's a third and ten. Roethlisberger going down the field. Incomplete. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Bells lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. After running it, it's second down. And the give to Ryan Matthews. And they bring him down at the 38-yard line. Well, it's, you know you're just getting dominated physically when the offense just runs the football right up the middle. The middle linebacker and the defensive tackles just have to be better.
15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. First down here after the run. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. 